Good morning. Today we are doing 4C, which is on circles. The circle is a conic section formed by the intersection of a cone and a plane parallel to the base of the cone. A circle can be defined as all the points x, y in the plane that are a fixed distance from the given point h, k, called the center. The fixed distance is the radius of the circle. Okay, so our center is going to be h, k, and radius is from the center all the way over to the edge of the circle or circumference. And um, x, y could be any of these points, okay? And this goes for anywhere on the plane, okay? So the equation of a circle can be determined by using the distance formula. So I'm going to call this one here point 2 and this one here point 1. And we are going to um, plug all this information into our distance formula right here. So our distance is from here to here, so that is our radius, equals, okay, so my x2 is actually going to be an x minus our x1 is h, and then we're going to square that, plus my y2 is a y minus my y1, which is k, and we're going to square that. Well, I want to get rid of this um, radical right there, so I'm going to square both sides. And I'll get um, an r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Okay, now notice that our center is just the opposite of both of those. So our center off of this equals h, k, like that, all right? So the opposite of both of those. And I also want to point out that our radius over here has been squared. So when we need to find our radius, we're going to take the square root. Okay, so this is standard form. Standard form of a circle right here. This is handy information. Okay. So, let's move on here. I want to find the coordinates of the center and the radius of a circle whose equation is right here. All right, now, remember that our formula, we go the opposite of this one, okay? So that would give me a negative 3, and the opposite of this one, which would give me a 5. So 3, 5 is going to be my center. And my radius, take the square root of this one. So that was going to be a 4. And normally we'd say plus or minus 4, but we know that this is a distance and we can't have a negative going on there. Okay, so let's graph this now. So negative 3, first thing I do is put on the center. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there. There's my center. And my radius is 4, so all I'm going to do is count 4 in each direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm just going to do my best to draw a circle with those guys. And there you go. That's it. That's all it is to circles. Okay, let's look at another one here. I need my center off of this. Okay, so... I got this one here, so it's going to be a 1. Then this one over here. Hmm. What do I do there? Well, isn't that just the same thing as saying x plus 0 squared? Okay. So um, this would be just, uh, that would give me a y squared because if you add 0 to anything, it is itself, and that would give me a y, and that's squared. So this over here is going to be a zero. So if you're missing that rest of the part that's inside the parentheses there, it's a zero. So my center is going to be at one, zero, 
and my radius this time, take square root of that, is gonna be two. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put it on up here. So one, zero, so one, zero is right there. Radius of two, so I'm gonna go two in each direction. And one, two, right there. And I'm gonna do my best to draw a circle. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Now if you had something that looked like x squared plus y squared equals nine, Okay, so my center in this case would be a zero and a zero, so center would be zero, zero, and my radius would be, take square root of that, three. And there you go. Okay, this next one here. Find the equation of a circle with a radius of four and a center of negative one, two. Okay, so my center, is negative one, two. I'm just gonna plug it into my formula right here. So I have um, x minus a negative one, we'll come back and clean this up in a minute, plus a y minus a two equals an r, this is my r, squared. Okay, so we're gonna clean it up now. So I have x plus two, one, the opposite of negative one is a positive one squared, plus a y minus two squared equals, and you gotta do the work on this, you know how to do that. So four squared is 16. So that is the equation of my circle right there. So let's graph this now. So at negative one, two, negative one, two. My center goes right there. I'm going to count four in each direction. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to do my best to draw a circle around those. So there we go. That's all there is to it. Okay, the next one here. Find the equation of a circle with a center of zero, zero. So remember if we are missing those, if I have, you know, an x plus 0 squared plus y plus 0 squared equals, oh, over here I have the square root of 3, and I'm going to square that. Okay, so to clean this up, this x plus 0 is really just x, so that's going to be an x squared plus, and a y plus zero is just really y, y squared, equals, and what is the square root of three squared? Well, those guys cancel each other out, right? And that'll just leave me a three. Okay, so if I want to um, graph this, I'll do it up here. So zero, zero, that's the origin. I put that there, and my radius is three. So I need to go figure out what the square root of three is. And I'm just going to stick that in my calculator here. And that gives me 1.7. So this is approximately, well, when I figure out what the radius is, 1.73. Okay. So when I do this, I'm just going to, you know, almost two in each direction. So one, two, bring it back a little. One, two, bring it back a little. One, two, bring it back. One, two, bring it back. So this one will be like that, okay? So this right here will give me that. So you might have to stick it in your calculator. Okay, now we have, um, switching gears a little bit, a problem that says, um, well, they're gonna give us a equation in general form, which looks like this. An x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equals zero. Well, general form doesn't tell me a whole lot. When I have it in standard form, I can look at it. You know, I can look at this right here and I can tell you a lot about the circle. I know where its radius, um, well, what its radius is gonna be. I know where its center is just by looking at it when it's in standard form. When I look at it in general form, I'm like, I have no clue, okay? So 
what we're gonna have to do to this is um, we're gonna take it from general form and rewrite it into standard form. And to do that, we're gonna need completing the square twice. Okay, so let's start here. Here is my equation. I need to find the center and the radius and I'm gonna graph it. So first thing I need to do is rewrite this. I'm gonna go x squared, and I'm gonna round up my other x, so plus four x, leave some space right here. Then I'm gonna do plus y squared, let's go find the other y, plus two y, leave a little space, equals negative one. Okay, so we move that over. All right, remember we're doing completing the square twice. I need a perfect square trinomial right here. So this is where I'm using that one half B and we're gonna square it. Okay, so take half of that, that'll give me two, and square it gives me four. If I add four here, I have to add four over here. Okay, again, we're taking half of this one, which will give me a one, and square it, so that's gonna be a plus one and a plus one. Okay, now let's write this as a perfect square binomial. So I will have um, x plus, take square root of that, 2 squared plus, okay, this as a perfect square binomial. So y plus, take square root of that, 1 squared equals, do the math over here, 4. All right, so my center is opposite, opposite, my radius square root, and there you go. Okay, so let's graph that. So negative two, negative one right there, and two in each direction. And do a circle, and there you go. All right, let's try one more of those. Okay, this is in general form, I wanna fix change it over to standard form so I can find my center and radius and graph it. Okay, so let's rewrite this, putting our x's together, our y's together, and our one's already over on that side, so that's good. So x squared plus 3x, leave a little space, plus y squared, oops, that's a minus, let me change that real quick minus 2y, leave a little space, equals 1. Okay, uh-oh, got an odd number here. So, 1 half the 3, and then we're going to square it. So that gives me 3 halves squared, so that is going to give me 9 fourths. Okay, if I do that there, I have to do it here. All right. Half of this is going to be 1. Square that 1, it's going to give me a 1. Okay, so now rewrite that as a perfect square binomial. Be an x plus 3 halves squared plus y minus 1 squared equals. Well, I'm going to rewrite both of those 1s as 4 over 4 because four over four equals one. Now they all have a common denominator, so that's 13, 17, 17 ninths, or fourths, sorry, fourths. Okay, so my center is going to be negative three over two, one. Okay. And my radius, well, I need to take the square root of that, and when I do the, put that in my calculator and take the square root of that, I am going to have 2.1, okay? So let's graph this now. Negative 3 halves, so that's negative 1 and a half, right? And 1, so that's going to be right there. And I'm basically just going to go two in each direction. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And 
do your best to draw a circle. And there you go. That's it. All right. Um, the homework for this one is in the files. Looks a lot like this right here. And this one here. All right. So 12 problems. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.